Hey guys, here's my weekly aquaponics update. I'm gonna be quite quick about this one. Couple of exciting points this week, but otherwise things pretty much staying um, yeah on track and progressing as they were before. Um, thank you for watching, subscribing, rating, commenting and all that and please keep that coming. I really do appreciate it. And here we go, jumping into the update. Here's what the uh, grow bed on the new um, bathtub aquaponics system looks like. We've got a lot of algae going on down there that I've been ignoring but just the one basil plant in here so I have allowed the algae maybe get rid of some of those nitrates that those big happy fish are producing loads of flowering on this as well and to, if not today then tomorrow I'm gonna take these flowers out to make the bush um, start growing bush here um, here's what the fish in the tub look like all quite happy now there's nine tilapia baby tilapia fry in here and the two big ones left uh, one of them yeah this this guy right here He's the only, his colors have changed so significantly, it's quite surprising, it's happened just in the past couple of days. At first I was quite wo worried, yeah, he's the darker fish you can see right in the center there. Yeah, at first I was worried that maybe there was something going wrong with him, but apparently he's doing just fine. As are all of the other fish, even the, um, even the large ones come up to feed when they see that I'm not close by and they're not spooked. Um, here are the plants on the old aquaponics side, got a few sponge gods dying in the middle there but the, um, yeah, a good amount of them are still alive and kicking at the top. The, um, these are the Armenian cucumbers, got really tall in the front here, got like I think three of them. Here's one here and another couple of them at the back. There's another Armenian cucumber and oh this one's gotten a bit fatter okay so yeah bunch of Armenian cucumbers no sponge gourds on so far that I can tell I've released the um, lemongrass as you guys can see I just felt bad for it it was it looked like it was getting congested tied up the way it was so yeah and that's where the sponge gourds gotten up to sorry about the sunlight there but yeah, it's pretty uh, yeah, pretty prolific and dense growth is getting up there here are the goldies now here's something interesting to change the tilapia over there Oh, a bit of a different color this is a bit of a different surprise um, yeah if those of you that remember last week I put a tilapia in here because it was missing a fin and a tail and I thought maybe you know it wouldn't get bullied along with the fishies it seemed to be doing fine for a few days and then a couple of days ago I noticed that one of my goldies specifically this one yeah the one who's right in the center of the frame now this little boy right here you can't quite make it out in the shot, but for those of you who've been watching for a while, you'll remember that his tail used to be a good bit bigger than what it is right now. So yeah, everything was going fine. I'm sorry about the focus there. So everything was going fine until that tilapia felt a little better and he ate its fins. So yeah, otherwise the fish have been doing fine. I removed him. I put him back right back into the, um, right back into the tub. He's doing fine there now. So yeah, that's how the uh, that's how the system is doing. Um, seaweed extract waiting to get chucked in right now. Here are the baby chilies that are coming up. These really need to be put into bigger pots and separate pots. Need to find some time to do that. The self-watering buckets or wicking beds, whatever you call them, that I set up a couple of weeks ago have completely died. I need to replant these and make something happen here. And the other plants are looking a little neglected because I have been neglecting them past couple of days. Poor babies have gotten a little droopy. But I, re I really suppose I should water them right now but my garden hose has started leaking. And um, yeah, I'd like to take my shower in my room rather than up on the roof. So I think I'm not going to water them right about now either. Anywho, that's about how everything's looking on my roof. Uh, pretty hunky-dory. Hopefully things will pick up this week. Um, thanks for watching you guys. Remember to rate and subscribe and leave a comment if you got an opinion about what you've seen. Thanks for watching guys. Cheers.